गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम पूर्णिमा एंड वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई इंग्लिश क्लास सो हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट आई होप यू आर फाइन एंड सेफ नाउ चिल्ड्रेन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर एट फ्रॉम योर बुक हनी ड्यू आई एम चिल्ड्रेन दिस चैप्टर इज रिलेटेड विद मॉनसून टूडे वी had a monsoon in our city also beautiful rainfall isn't it you all enjoyed this seeing the rainfall rain drops falling and everything looks so green looks so peaceful okay so this is the nature which we really enjoy and we feel happy with the nature children whenever i start my video i start with a beautiful thought so today's thought to i've written on the board also uh this is related with the nature so let's read the thought first and then we will continue with our lesson so the thought i've written is adopt the peace of nature her secret is patience adopt the peace of nature her secret is patience children nature is very powerful nature nurtures us okay and children we relax when we are when we are with nature when we go outside suppose if you are sitting going to the mountain trip and you are sitting there okay do you feel so relaxed everything so beautiful the beautiful mountains around you on a nice clean rise on mountains of course children whenever leave mountains you go to school so many nice beautiful flowers are there in our school for a second look into that flower see its beauty and children you will forget the part the beautiful rose we have in our school when you will see it even for a second you will feel fresh you will feel happy so such is a great power of nature it has a lot of patience and children when a person has a patience it has a peace of mind and when the mind is peaceful it can think a lot of ideas okay so directly and indirectly nature always help us it is we who should take care of nature we should not destroy nature isn't it our children nature always wear the colors of the spirit nature always nurtures us so children with this thought related with nature i am going to start my lesson now me this lesson is also why children i have taken this thought related with nature because this thought this lesson is also related with nature okay so this is chapter number 8 okay our um, children in the name of this lesson you will find it a bit strange it the name of the lesson is a short monsoon diary a very strange name isn't it a short monsoon diary so how monsoon is related with diary this you must be thinking well we all know what is a monsoon nowadays we are having monsoon season in varanasi isn't it so a short monsoon diary of course children this diary this diary this in this lesson you will see a diary written by a person and this person is a very famous writer the name of this person is of course ruskin bond very famous writer ruskin bond i think in your library also you have got so many books of ruskin bond isn't it and i even i love to read his books so children 
we are doing we will be doing just now chapter 8 the short a short monsoon diary of your book honey dew and it is written by ruskin bond it is written by ruskin bond now so let me before starting this lesson the explanation part let me give you some background of the lesson so children first of all this is a diary written by ruskin bond and first of all also i should like to tell you i should like to tell you what is a diary now children you people are so busy in seeing internet and all that things isn't it but we should maintain a diary at least children in a diary we can share our feeling the things which we cannot share with anybody we can share we can write whatever we feel whatever we think in a diary isn't it and this is this person when he went so close to nature okay and he wrote he wrote in his diary about each day till he stayed for only few days but day wise diary he has written and in this lesson he is going to share his diary with us he is going to share his diary with us so children first of all let me tell you once again who is the narrator it is ruskin bond and he had shared a diary with us and that diary he is dealing with nature okay so children first of all i will be telling you something about this diary okay and then i will be doing the explanation part i will be explaining you the new words difficult expression and so many things which i generally do while explaining explaining the lesson now the writer ruskin bond in this diary tells about the silent miracles of nature nature and life's little joys and regrets children i told you nature is very wonderful okay miracle miracles means wonders lot of wonderful things children if you will go so many secrets of nature are there that still be human power being have to find it out but then the thing which are which we are impressed by nature is its beauty its peaceful way its friendly behavior with the human being a lot of protection it gives not only to us but to lot of animals and bird and fish so children we should make we should do friendship with nature we should not destroy nature okay so here in this diary ruskin bond he is telling about the silent miracle of nature our little joys and regrets sometimes we are very happy sometimes children we regret whatever work we have done sometimes we regret isn't it so this in this he has discuss and in short first i will tell you because when i will be explaining then i will tell you in detail so children he has written this diary first date is given june 24 well children first of all you should know some word like June twenty four, in this date he has described monsoon mist. So mist is a fog, children. And in many country, when rainfall is there, before rainfall, mist surrounds the whole area. Children, it is the mist which surround the whole area. So he is there in a place and which is surrounded by mist. Okay. very peaceful atmosphere very beautiful atmosphere and the mist but children the mist was saddening the gray color mist always make us sad because we cannot see through mist the beauty of nature and children similarly a rainfall was going to take place 
a dark place where he was sitting it was a beautiful hill station surrounded by beautiful mountains and hill and he wanted to enjoy that beautiful hills but then suddenly what he see or oh, sees on june 24 that the whole area is covered by mist okay mist means fog and uh, it concealed concealed children is a new word concealed means to hide conceal means to hide so children due to that mist the whole mountains they were hidden okay he was not able to see the beauty of the mountains and that's why he was very sad and not only that everywhere it was silence because children due to the mist the beautiful birds did not come the other animals they were inside they knew that any time there might be a heavy rainfall so he was not able to hear even the chirping of the birds also so poor fellow he came to enjoy there to see the beauty of nature and because of mist he was not able to enjoy anything he cannot hear the chirping of the bird he cannot enjoy the beautiful scenery the landscape of the mountains well now children june 25 so that day he had written about all his feeling about his sadness in his diary on which date he had written june 24 now children next day again he said to write his diary at this time he has written june 25 and let's see what he has written june 25 brought early monsoon rain so very nice children rain is also a part of nature i think everybody know this we enjoy rainfall of course not a heavy rainfall so there was a rainfall okay an early monsoon rain welcomed by everybody i think we all welcome rain especially that early rain so even he enjoyed it it became warm and humid children when there was a rainfall okay after the rainfall everywhere the place has become warm and humid well the mist afforded some privacy also and children and the rest of the thing what happened the mist has done the birds stopped singing suddenly and a boy asked him to describe the hill station and the valley in one of sentence ruskin only said it would have been a paradise nashlan one of the boy he wanted to ask the beauty of the mountain area ruskin told just because of the mist i missed that thing just because of the mist he could not see properly but it could have been described as the paradise on earth okay what is the meaning of paradise heaven so he is telling it would have been described as the paradise here on our earth now children what he had written in june 27 the rain marked the arrival of animals like a leopard and thousands of leeches the leopard lifted a dog from the servant quarters below the school since the rain swear there and the insect eating bird had no dearth of food so children after the rain for children since it was raining many animals they could not go for hunting and as soon as the rain stopped the worst thing he was there he had seen leeches everywhere on the ground it was a hilly region it was a mountain region so leeches was very common whenever it used to rain heavy children like children the plain area we can see a lot of earthworm is there when it rains so there in the mountain area he can see leeches now leeches children it sucks blood i think you know it's a black in color okay and it sucks blood and not only that leopards they have leopards they have come and they have lifted dog from the servant quarters below the school the insect eating bird had no dearth of food the insect eating birds also um they also came 
All night on August two, the rain drummed on the tin roof, but there was no shower, no thunder. Well, children, on the night of August two, drizzling, drizzling means not a very heavy rainfall was there, and it was falling on the tin roof as if somebody was drumming, somebody was playing with a drum. But there was no shower, no thunder. Of course, it was not very heavy, um, heavy rainfall, so there was no shower and no. Thunder. On August three, the rain stopped and the clouds began to break up. Now, children, August on August three, the clouds began to break and the rain stopped. The song of the whistling thrush emerged. Beautiful nature, the beauty of the nature he enjoyed at that time only. On August twelve, there was endless rain and permanent mist. Now, children, again on 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 August twelve, heavy rainfall throughout the day, falling continuously, and of course he can see mist also, permanent mist. That means that mist was not going; it was there at one place from longer time. The everything was surrounded by mist, not able to see the nature. The writer had nowhere to go. He only looked out of the window, and poor Ruskin bond, he could not go. He could not go anywhere, and he was sitting near the window. But help, very, what to say? He was not able to enjoy nature. He could not see anything due to mist. When on August thirty-one, snakes and rodent rushed out of their flooded holes. The rainwater went to the holes of snakes and rodents. And children, they came out. So every, mostly everywhere, the snakes were seen. The grandmother, the they took shelter in roofs and go downs, and many snakes they came to take shelter in go downs and roof. The grandmother told the children not to kill the chuchundas because they were lucky and brought money. Now children, I think you know children, it's a rat-like thing. Okay. Um, uh, it is known as chuchundar. It also the whole of the ch chuchundars were uh, filled with water, with rain water. It also came out, and the children were killing him. So it was the superstitious belief of the grandmother that she told not to kill it because it brings money and luck to us. So we should not kill it. By October three. The monsoon rain made way for the winter rain and snow at higher altitude. Altitude means height. Well, children, on October three, the monsoon rain. It was children the monsoon rain, and um, that rain. What happened? They made way for the winter rain due to that. Winter rain was there, and snow at higher altitude. A hail storm in the evening hit the place. The uh, in the evening. That hell storm is also there. The writer was quite alone in the house. He heard only the rhythm of rain. It enveloped the knock house. No children. The writer was all alone, and he was hearing the rhythm of the rain. He was all alone the house, but then still he was enjoying the beauty of nature. How children? He was hearing the beautiful music of the rainfall, the beautiful song of the rainfall, the rhythm of the rainfall. Isn't it? Well, then what happened? By March end, the winter also ended. Now, children, the March season has begun. The winter was also ended. Missouri had black clouds over it. It hailed for half an hour. When it cleared the sky, a rainbow was formed across it. I think the rainbow is the most beautiful thing of nature. Even I love rainbow, and I hope you all love rainbow, the seven color rainbow. So, children, now it was March season. The monsoon, the winter, as well as the monsoon was going to end. And children, for few minutes, the cloud was moved. And what the narrator saw, what the writer saw, he saw the most beautiful thing of the world, and that was seven color a rainbow, isn't it? So, this he has written in his diary. And till and let me tell you now what is a diary. I hope you know what is a diary and where it is used. 
till and nowadays people are using only to write the important information but children still there are many people in the world who write their feelings their emotions in a diary a very famous book is there i think you all should read the a diary of a young girl very nice very nice book you must all go through it whenever you have time okay so children here a girl was there it, and this is a true story of her and she has written that diary in such a wonderful way that it has become a world famous until and when the girl died her father when he looked at the diary even he was so much impressed by the words which she has written all her true story of life that he had published it in the form of a book so children diary many people have and children diary is children we share our feeling the feeling which we cannot share with anybody that thing we can write in the diary so diary writing we you have in the uh, syllabus also and whenever children when when i have to teach the writing section i will be telling you what is the format of a diary writing okay now ruskin bond he used to dar- write diary date wise every day with a date written sometimes children people write diary in the afternoon and but mainly they write that diary in the night whole day incident they write what they have eaten if the teacher had given any punishment to them if they fight it with each other any special day like birthday or marriage ceremony is celebrated okay so so many things we have to write in a diary what you had talked with your friend what how your parents have scolded you how you are welcome by grandmother so so many things you have to share in the diary isn't it like raskin bond he has shared he had gone uh, he was in fact children he lives in mysore only and mysore is a wonderful uh, for tourist place and it is the whole mysore is a beautiful place covered with mountains many tourists come there to enjoy the mountains and the beautiful scene of nature so he had described about monsoon okay especially that monsoon when the mist covered the whole mountain and he was not able to see how sad he was there he could not feel that if the birds were chirping okay so children with this the background of the lesson is completed and now i will exp- start with the chapter okay so chapter which i have taken i once again i tell you a short monsoon diary so now i will be reading the chapter with you let me have my book so here i was telling you about ruskin bond and i please open your book children okay open your book and one more thing children i would like to tell children is not that that we should go to mountain area to or to any other areas where we should enjoy beauty of nature we can enjoy beauty of nature when we are children what to say when we come out from our house you can see trees you can see birds okay in the morning you can feel chirping of the bird you at night you can see stars shining moon shining okay so we can enjoy beauty of nature in many way it doesn't mean that we should go to mysore or shimla or kashmir or switzerland to enjoy the beauty of nature the beautiful grass everywhere we can see trees everywhere is there enjoy the beauty of a tree enjoy the beauty of a flower isn't it so children now i'm going to do the explanation part of the book and let's start well student so i'm going to explain you this lesson chapter 8 a short monsoon 
diary right uh, do you know what a diary is it is a record of personal experience written day after day after a long period of time just now i've discussed diary also with you that children generally we write diary daily or weekly it depend upon the person to person and we write whatever children whatever incident happened with us okay day to day routine life also you can discuss anything any feeling if you are sad if you are happy okay what you have done with your friend anything special which your mother has prepared okay you went to some places in the summer vacation so everything you can jot down in a diary you can also use a diary to note down things you plan to do immediately or in future children not only that people like to write a diary that what they will be doing okay which plan which work they have to do down the children people plan their work because so much assignment and works they get that they are confused so which work they should do first they note it down they make their schedule they make their timetable um then they should think that which should be done earlier then after that which work should be done so all the plan they write in a diary one of the most famous diary published as a book is the diary of anne frank just now i think i've told about that also okay the diary of anne frank and um, you know non children anne frank was a girl she has written the diary and she has that diary was so dear to him she used to treat her diary like a friend her very best friend because children with friends we share many things isn't it lot of things we share with our friend that thing also we share with our friend that cannot be shared by with sometimes we cannot share with our parents so aunt frank she shared everything all the emotion with it, uh, if you will read her diary you will see how beautiful she has described all the emotions which she has gone through aunt children the best thing which i like when i read that diary that it, she has named her diary as kitty people never name their diary but she, that diary was so dear to her that she started thinking that this diary is her best friend and she named her diary what name she has given kitty here are a few extracts from rustin bond diary in which he portrays the silent miracle of nature a life's little joys and regret i think you have to underline also because this is the key point this is the central idea of the lesson also children why what he has written in his diary rustin bond um, that is a uh, he portrays the silent miracles of nature and life little joys and regrets so children now i am going to if you see part 1 we are doing and you can see children date is also written okay what is the date here june 24 june 24 is the day that means he has started writing his diary on june 24 now let's see what he had seen or he had experience or anything which he wanted to remember throughout his life and what he had written on the day of june 24 so let's read children the first day of monsoon mist of course you learn four season we all know summer winter autumn all right and children we also have monsoon so the monsoon was there and when the monsoon used to come when there used to be heavy rainfall whole surroundings whole area used to covered with mist which he disliked it which ruskin bond disliked it so the first day of monsoon mist and it's a strange how all the birds fall silent as the mists come climbing up the hill no children the birds they are silent why children even they don't like every everything is surrounded by mist they cannot see because when they have to fly they have to see the things we also cannot see anything isn't it so monsoon mist is not like by anybody nobody like to have that monsoon mist because we cannot see the beautiful nature 
and it's strange how all the birds fall silent as the mists come climbing up the hill. Till in the mists, slowly it climbs the hill, and slowly the silent also increases. Perhaps that's what made the mist so melancholy. Till in melancholy is a nice new word, and it's mean. It's mean, very sad. So I'm writing this word here. And children, the meaning of this word is very sad. All right, melancholy means very sad. And children, since it there was silent, and I think everybody has seen mist. The color of the mist is gray. Children, gray represent gloom. Okay, gray represent gloom. That is sadness. So mist is called melancholy. Because you know, it makes people feel sad. Like here, everything was covered with mist. Nobody was able to enjoy the beauty of nature. So everything looks very dull, sad. Now I think, children, the time is over, and the rest of the lesson I will be explaining tomorrow in my next video. So remember, we should always take care of nature. It is the nature which nurtures us. So take care and take care of nature also. With this, I conclude my video here.